What do you reckon, sir? Is it what you thought? Aye, it looks like it. <clears throat> Another pie-related death. <laughs> I didn't think cholesterol could leave holes in your forehead, sir. That's not cholesterol, kid. That's three rounds off a ten quid Smith and Wesson did that. And do you know why? See this man? This is Clementini. Alistair Clementini. Of Clementini the baker? The same. The most successful mutton pie retailer in all Paisley. <laughs> drug baron. Look. Flour under one set of fingernails. Cocaine under the other. <laughs> easy, I'll say, sir. He had it all. He dealt acid to the kids, coke to the parents, and mutton pies to the grandparents. A score for all the family. Ah, he was a McDonald's of vice. But he was just like all the others, kid. He got greedy. Is that why he was topped, sir? If you ask me, he was trying to dip his tadger in the govern pie business. Dangerous <laughs> thing to do. Aye. Especially when you're up against. The Lord of the Pies. <laughs> Look at that. Far out, man. Don't you just thrill from your toes to the end of your dinger when you see a motor like that? <laughs> He's his up and coming young businessman, someone to you know, aspire to. Excuse me, madam. We're doing some market research. Have you thought about your Christmas shoplifting yet? Aye, aye, we're taking orders. Oi! <laughs> <laughs> She's in the way! Scum! <laughs> what do you say, man? I think we should ban Buckfast. What, ban Buckfast? No, oh, no, I mean, what would the Wayne's have to wash down their crack next to see we eh? <laughs> That's what I'd expect for you, Niz, but you've just a bit thrown in a towel with your own Wayne's. Right. Never mind a bucky. These pies is right. What are you going to do about it? What can I do about it? It's the mob's pies. I want to stay in business. I take my pies for the mob. Drugs. Any drugs required today, folks? <laughs> oh, no. You're all right. Fair enough. How's the pies? OK? Oh, lovely. I was just saying to Nori. Mmm. <laughs> Here, bin that, would you? I mean, you know. You know, I've scraped out my shoe, but I've never stuck it in my gov, you know what I mean? Oh, I'm sorry, but pies are big business in Govan, and the Neds need a legit business to launder their drug dosh, so it's not my fault. Ah, well, if that's your attitude, don't you lecture me about how to bring up my wains. Not right, James? Oh, leave me out it, lad. As you know, being without Sprog is my personal tragedy, and I would gladly swap all of my rampant casual affairs just for the joy of seeing some wee brat in a post here. Spitting rusks up at me. <laughs> Andrew, what's that like? Uh, it's a dirty job, but well. <laughs> child. What's his name? Carlsberg, but we call her Carly for sure. <laughs> Andrew. Hello, lad. Sam. Sure. How are you? <laughs> it's my own fault. It's the start of an easy one. <laughs> Shug. Are you all right, Shug? Ah, he's fine. He's got a pulse. When's his flight home? Oh, beast you. Shug's family. Don't know what you've got against him anyway. Yeah, well, he just winds me up, doesn't he? I mean, look at him. Look at him. Even when he's unconscious, he looks as if he's got a poker up his ass. <laughs> you are just jealous because Shug got out and made something of his life. You see? You see? That's exactly what I'm talking about. He hasn't even spoke yet and we're already at each other's throats. Oh, look. He's coming round. One patronising a mark, one patronising a mark, and he is for the big sleep. Rab, Mary, she, she threw me out. She said since I'd been made redundant that I'd lost my self-respect. Don't you give up, Shug. Make her proud of you again and Phoebe will take you back. You'll see. Oh, you think so? I hope so, Mary. I, I don't think I could carry on without Phoebe. You remember your Auntie Phoebe, don't you, Gash? Oh, aye, I certainly do. Hey, that reminds me. There's a greyhound racing on the right. <laughs> <laughs> Rab, I know that you and I have never quite seen eye to eye, but I want to thank you for taking me in. What you see before you is a man at his lowest ebb. 
but I will make Phoebe proud of me again. I will make... No, no, my God! I'm sorry. I'm afraid I took a few too many tablets. Oh, Rob! He's took an overdose. Rob, you'll need to do something. Far out, man. And the telly's rotten to you. <laughs> Well, I'll just uh, stroll down the pub and get some milk of magnesia. Rob, just a minute. Thanks, Rab, for seeing you'd look after Shug. Hey, well, I'm in, you know, you only have to ask. <laughs> uh, uh, you'll just let me eat my cocoa pops before the milk turns brown. <laughs> What the hell's the matter with him? He's in a drug-induced trance. Is that OK? Oh, all right. Well, well thanks for telling me. Man. You, you really had me worried there. I mean, geez, he could be stealing apples at the minister of the doctor. I put my foot through some greenhouse windows, but no, no, no. He's sitting round the family breakfast table, quietly choking on his own vomit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mickey, me, my lap. That's a chap, man. <laughs> Come on into his body, a evil wee bum, ya! Oh, steady the buffs, Rab. It's not all his fault. <sighs> yeah, exactly. He mixed an upper with a downer. So, in theory, that should have made him, well, medium. But something's went wrong. Ah, <laughs> tea! All the same. It's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> interesting? That is my boy's quintessential being your arse and about with her. Oh, can leave him alone. <laughs> What the bloody hell was that? That's a new hitman the mob's got. The guy's useless. Stray bullets or early guy. Eh, give him a break. I heard he was a welder up till last week. Aye, even the gangs will no pay the going rate for staff room here now, Shug. Far less employers. It's no easy bringing up Wayne's nice and govern, you know. But I say there can be a better way. Look! Drug king, shoot it out. No, uh, next to that. Govan <laughs> shows up heart disease league. Well, if that doesn't bring a tear to sin, I don't know what that. Bad diet is symptomatic of what's wrong with Govan's culture. I mean, look at you, Rab. You eat pies, you, 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 you take sugar with everything. You know, Shug's right, Rab. What we need are a few more positive role models in Govan. Oh, I see. Good marvel, is it? Hey! Unemployment's rife, democracy's drifting, there's lead in the water, Pablo Escobar has bored a hole through the nose bone of Europe, but I have a couple of pies, two or three chocolate hobnobs, just to kind of clear myself up and get my like rat down the throat. Hell, you No one loves a Scotch pie more than I do. I mean, God knows, I remember when Mary here used to send me down a couple of pies, bridies and a Sunday post every week in life. Oh, shuck. And I would get out my video of local hero and... All right, all right, all right. We've got a point. You've established your homely credential. Just cut to the chase. Rab! Our pies haven't moved with the times. Now, I say the time is right for a new kind of pie. A hairy pie? <laughs> right! <laughs> uh, Rob, you said you'd look after Shug. Look, I am not a psychiatric nurse lady. Let him dream of pie in the sky. Where are you going, well? I'm going to pub. That's where losers go, isn't it? Basil! I uh, mind the spam sandwich, Nuz, but this is a family pub. Ah, uh, the Manson family. That's the only family you get in here. <laughs> oh, well, if you don't like it. Easy, not easy. The man's in turmoil. His loved ones are giving him snash. Go on, Rob. Well, it's, it's so good. I mean, every, every time he looks at me, I just, I just feel as if I'm being judged and found a failure. So, so what's your point? It's uh, <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. I mean, if I'm a failure, so is every man in this pub because there's no one he's, no one he's, has done any better in life than me, do ya? Well, I hate to state the obvious, but... Uh... Your time will come, Rambi. The only thing you've got going for you, the new, is youth and you're rapidly treating that and judging by that. Jillip waggling underneath your jawline there. I don't think you want to hammer that tack, Rab. When it comes to Jillip, we're all lovers of lard in here. Oh, and, and whose fault is that, eh? Shakus, Bambi, Dua, and Death. Eh, don't blame me, blame Big Donga. 
He's the leader of them all brewing here. Donga! Like I said, if I want to keep my Wendy's and my kneecaps, he's the man I buy for. He's the lord of the pies. Oh, I like pies. Pies are my life. See, pies. To me, a pie is a work of art. When I see a beautiful pie, the tears pour down my tupin. You know why? Because pies are my livelihood. And drugs. Oh, aye. Pies and drugs. And brothels. Oh, aye. Pies and drugs. <laughs> and brothels, but oh, boys, the greatest of these is pies. See, eating a pie while snorting Charlie from a prostitute's belly button. Oh, <laughs> that's my idea of quality time. Talking of which, any sign of that bam yet? Looks like a new gaffer. Aye, we gotta look up the estate agency, he's mad keen. What do you make of the nerve of that prick? <laughs> Trying to muscle into the soft underbelly of the pie business. It fills me with rage. Stevie, Aye. shoot the bam. I can't, boss. I left my pistol on slicks. Ah, well, just as well for him. But I'm going to warn this town. If I find out that even one maverick pie has been sold, the gutters will run with mints. <laughs> it's easy to get things out of perspective, isn't it? I mean, you, you read the paper, you watch the telly, you convince yourself that the world is a hell of a place and that you are the worst loser in it. But then, then you have a wee swally. You look up, and what do you see? <laughs> These wearing shirts. The next time I'm back and an optimistic statement, just boot me up the arse. Gotta <laughs> keep control of them. This young is trying to sell Disneyland to govern in capsule form, and this young's got mere swag for sale in a Freeman's catalogue. Uh, allegedly. <laughs> Shame yourself, bringing up your kids like that. Oh, aye. And, and you were such a shining example to, didn't you? Listen, I remember when you were PC-49. One mere bribe and it'll make a 50. You've done mere back handers and Boris Baker. <laughs> we're doing the crossword here. How many T's and witnesses? <laughs> Some gay Nesbitt. But I say the Scots pie of today is a pie to die for. Now, what we need is a pie to live for. That's a pie, all right. A square pie. <laughs> Convention has always decreed that the Scots pie be round. But I laugh in the face of mutton pie orthodoxy. I, Shug, say that the Scots pie can be square. Shug, it's for you. Thank you, landlord. Gentlemen, you are looking at the Christopher Columbus of Mints. <laughs> Phoebe, at last. My power drill? Yes. Reg has fixed the window. Now he's repointing the chimney before I have him strip the pine doors. Isn't that right, Reg? My pleasure, Phoebe. <laughs> Hugh? Hugh! It's in the cupboard, under the stairs. Yes. Goodbye. Not right, Shug. Ralph, boys, there's something I haven't told you. I'm afraid she's seeing someone else. At present, she's being comforted by Reg. A neighbour from next door. Comforted? Is, I, is that the seven-inch comforter or the nine-inch comforter? <laughs> She's left me, uh, Phoebe has left me. Uh, but she'll, she'll come back, she'll, she'll come back. I mean, just, just remember the words of the poet. The moving tadger dips and having dipped moves on. <laughs> but I had a dream, Ram. You know, that dream was going to pull me through. 
I'll still pull you through, Chuck. And I'll tell you something else, boy. I am going to be part of that dream. You are? I certainly am, Chuck. I, too, am going to put my faith in mints. Rob, I can't tell you what this means to me. Hey, boy, Chuck. Hey, boy. It's as queer a thing you say when you're emotional, isn't it? <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, can I look now? Ma, ba, 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 ba. Cost me half my redundancy money. What do you think? Well, Shug's pie shop. It's to the point. I'll give you that. <laughs> what makes you think you can flog pies when you'll be here anyway? Market research. See that new factory? Employs 600 people. They're making high-tech sonar equipment on a long-term government contract. Now, that means there's an almost exclusively ABC1 workforce captive for eight hours a day with no one trying to feed them anything but lard burgers. Now, I can do it, Rab. You can help me. What? Me? I am appointing you sales manager, Rab. I'll pay you 10% on a sliding scale to 17 on every dozen you sell. Rab, I'm offering you a job. <laughs> oh, yes. no! Drinks all round, young Bambi. You well, it or in us three anyway, you know. What's the celebration? Glasgow's moved up to fourth place in the British drug gang murder leap. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. For it's, it's a grand old town to <laughs> slay for. What have you been told? Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Boys like us. Fourth tap in a murder league. Ah, well, you all can be as cynical as you like. But I have seen the future, boy. And it works. Oh, and what's the future? Mince. <laughs> well, you see that. Can you believe it, Rab? Here I am, making up sandwiches for you to take to your work. <laughs> Is that normal? It's positively decadent. <laughs> if you think that's decadent, me again, take a swatch of this. A nude book? <laughs> oh, look again, Mazel, look again. It is a holiday brochure. A holiday? Oh, my. I know how you feel. It's taking a while, but, well, you know what? The good times is coming. <laughs> oh, Rob. You haven't kissed me like that in years. Here's your pieces. I'll be needing them, Mary Hen. I've got a hard day ahead of me. There's a lot of pies out there. Clamming for the good by the public. You're going to make an early start if you're going to hack it in the mince jungle. Bloody hell! Do you ever listen to yourself? I mean, you're turning into the kind of bam stick you used to rip the piss you. <laughs> Give her an on about pies. <laughs> you're going out to work all day for the kind of dosh I can make in one hour on the Skype and Govan shopping centre. Uh, at least your dad's doing it honestly. Oh, honestly? God. Hey, look, Dad. You're a businessman, right? I can tell that by your attaché case. <laughs> so I'll put it to you in business talk. The trouble with honesty is it's no cost effective. What's the new here to me, kid? Wayne's is not cost effective. If your mother and I had applied your logic when we were doing the business, you would be speaking to me from the inside of a feather like you're a black plastic bag in the middle of the bloody government dump pile. There you are. You sneer at me for being a pie salesman. Well, let me tell you this. Pie salesman came way behind international playboy in my list of chosen occupations. But I am 44, kid. I'm 44, right? Life does not afford you too many opportunities to kick your way out of the ship, Bill. Now, if you will excuse me, I have work to do. <laughs> Nothing. 
I just like the noise it makes. Here for a pie. What happened? Uh, he had a visit from the Lord of the Pies, didn't he? As a result of which, Doody got a square pie in the ears. And Andra got a square pie in the face. While I. And I want a bow like it because I got a square pie up my shirt. And it's all your fault. Hey, what are you doing? Easy, Jamesy. I was too naive. It's my fault for going against the mob. Oh, I get it, I get it. Eh? One wee brick through the window and you lose your ball, eh? I lost a few bottles, actually, Rab. See for yourself. Rab's right, Norrie. <laughs> Shut <Sure. laughs> up. Fairly Eastern European sense of humor you're developing there, sir. Yes, Rab, and I speak as a man who's had his own pies super glued to his head. But I say we need someone who can speak to the mob, someone who speaks their language. It could help. They're looking at you, Rab, they're not even looking at you, Rab, but they're looking at you, Rab. I'm not looking at me, Rab, that I'm a typical home county Scot, a class traitor who'll run out on you as soon as the going gets rough. Am I right? Well, uh, the thought had kind of crossed my mind, you know. Well, I wasn't a born middle class. I am a governed man. I'm staying here with you. Cheers, Chuck. So you, Chuck? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hugh, something terrible's happened. Reg was replacing some floorboards after I'd had him retile the roof and returf the garden. And, well, suddenly he had a heart attack and died. <laughs> Hugh, I want you to come home. Will you please? Shug, if I, if I do this, I've, I've got to know that you're behind me, because, you see, if you're not behind me, I'm, I'm dead meat, you know? <laughs> I mean, you, you, you're you behind me, Chug, aren't you? Yes. <sighs> see you, see did me, see my foot. It's louping with booting you. Well, I told you not to boot him in the side of the head. Boot him in the face, where it's softer. Cut your bombs off! I'm getting beat to a bolt, man. And you stink air blood bubbles. It's an idiosyncrasy, isn't it? You cannot be a modern, viable, psychotic bastard unless you have an idiosyncrasy. <laughs> you should watch more crap on the telly, Ram. <laughs> Stevie, give him another skite. <laughs> oh! Look, I've got a doubler. <laughs> I'll tell you if you want to know. You tell us stuff. What do you think of doing tunneling out of coldness? We are telling you stuff. Mambo, tell them stuff. You mess with business. You wouldn't take a telling. And that's why you're gonna die. Get the hitman. I can hear you, I can hear you. You're shite, Rab. You always will be shite. But you made one tragic blunder. You thought you could rise out of the shite pit and transform yourself magically into pish. <laughs> you a pie in your life, Rab. But you'll get a pie in the sky when you die. <laughs> right. And don't air sit up this time. No, 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 no. I'll know. I'll know. Ed, 
I'm only new. I was a welder three months ago. Oh, give us it here. Oh, thanks. Never hire a hitman from the Enterprise Allowance Scheme. <laughs> Something you should know before you do that. Before I came, I phoned the police. He'll be here any minute. Any minute? You must be kidding. Stevie here got his laser disc blagged four weeks ago and he's still waiting for a visit. <laughs> Fair enough. I blagged it myself for insurance. It's the principal, isn't it? So don't give me any of your. <gasps> Allow you, Rab. That was a masterstroke. You must watch the crap on the telly after all. <laughs> I never, th I never thought I'd owe my life to watching a pizza of Miami Vice. <laughs> <sighs> More Boxfair's darling. I hope you've learned your lesson this time, Hugh. Oh, Gavin, there's a lost cause, Phoebe. I mean, I don't know. You try to give them something back, and well, I suppose in the end, everyone gets the life they deserve. What's for tea, darling? What would you like? Honey, honey, and honey again until I am sick. Oh. Welcome home. You. Well, let's do your up. Aye, 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 that's what do it. What's on the pork? Pies. <laughs> surprise, surprise. All right, Nisbet. Business as usual, eh? Tell me about it. Do you know this? We've had 18 shootings this year already. And the queer thing is, we never ever find the bodies. You know? No. Come on now. What's the matter? There's some stuck in my pie. What? And the queer thing is, we never ever find the bodies. <laughs> don't spoil it for us. It's Henry Bate Day, you know. I'll not tell her if you don't. 